Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome to the scuff cam video free for all game. We're playing on instinct. Uh, I'm actually going to use the ASM one uh, simply because I have to move around a lot more and that's going to really demonstrate uh, the scuff controller a bit more for you guys. Obviously, for those of you that watch my gameplays, I usually wouldn't run an ASM one on instinct. It's more of an assault rifle or sniping map bigger map but uh this should get the point across of you guys being able to see my movement uh while i use my controller my scuff uh and the reason why i'm making this is because i think that having a scuff controller uh in advanced warfare is a, is a pretty decent advantage um for those of you that don't know what a scuff controller is is basically you have uh, a couple of paddles on the bottom of the controller and they act as the a and b button but you can map uh the paddles to be whatever buttons you want um, I have kind of a unique configuration for my scuff. I will leave a video uh, video link down in the description for those of you that want to see the exact configuration of my scuff uh, that will kind of make things a little bit more uh, simple to understand if you guys watch that video. But anyways, like I said, I think scuff uh, having a scuff in Advanced Warfare is a, is a huge advantage because it allows me to jump, double jump, um, boost, slam, slide, everything without taking my thumbs off of the thumbsticks and that's a huge advantage in this game uh, just because like I said the movement is just so crazy and keeping your thumbs on the thumbsticks allowing you to aim at all times uh, is, a, is a pretty big advantage it's not like a must-have uh, but you will notice your game improve 100% for sure if you do have a scuff uh, the hardest part about it is training your brain on how to use the paddles properly that was kind of my biggest uh, problem was getting used to actually using it and uh you know uh using the paddles to you you know for all your movement is just uh it's a lot different than you know using your thumb to switch back and forth between uh the right thumbstick and the uh a b x y buttons it's just a huge difference uh and there like i said there is a bit of a learning curve it took me quite a while uh but i just thought this would be a cool video for you guys to be able to see what is going on with my hands on my controller while I play um, and as you guys can probably tell I'm moving all over the place and I very rarely ever take my thumbs off the thumbsticks about the only time I need to take my thumbs off is to reload uh, call in a score streak or pick up a weapon and that's about it otherwise all the movement uh, my thumbs never come off because uh, within this game since it's so fast paced and you just got to be real quick uh, quick reaction time and if your thumb is not on the thumbstick, that's going to delay your reaction time uh, quite a bit. So, but anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Like I said, I will leave a couple of video links down in the description if you guys want to get a little bit more in-depth uh, with the controller that I do have. I'll also leave uh, a video link for the settings in which I have set up for Advanced Warfare. That would be probably another good video for you guys to watch so you can see my sensitivity and all that. So I'll leave those two video links down in the description. Uh, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, definitely throw me a thumbs up. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and if you guys want to see more advanced warfare videos like this, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later!